show is a benefit show um, for an area in Canada near the Dakotas that was affected by the pipeline, I believe. Um, I'm not 100% sure on the details. I just know it's a benefit show. Um, and we were offered the chance to sell um, our product in the merch area. So um, that, you know, it's the second punk show that we've worked at uh, Paul Henry's Art Gallery. Um, it's a good place to work shows. Um, I go there to do the open mic um, pretty much every week so we kind of know people in that environment which is cool. Um, everybody's really nice there. The last punk show was very friendly um, so it was a good experience. So we're on our way to the punk show now. The back seat has a bunch of products and prep stuff. Um, so it is like just over an hour and a half till the show starts. Um, it'll be a quick setup because it's not a full setup. Um, we're mostly doing Dead's brand. Um, actually, the only thing of mine I'm even putting out there is my stickers. Um, because this just isn't the crowd for uh, like my photography and stuff. Um, and uh, it is, however, like the, the perfect crowd for a lot of Dead stuff. actually really successful. It was really, um, I see lots of pictures. They'll be on my various social media sites. Uh, taping during the show was pretty much impossible because it was loud. Um, the music was actually really good though. Uh, we had quite a few people who came by our, I don't think you can say booth, but it was a really good setup. Um, it's a table. Uh, if you can see behind me, like there's a table. People mainly bought stickers, a few patches, but it was it was actually pretty successful. Um, it's the second punk show that we've worked, and uh, I had a lot of fun doing it. We could hear the music back here, which was really cool. There's a Viking attempting to sneak away. Oh, he's escaped. <laughs> <laughs> 